That big step, big step. Should I switch boxing stances? This is a question I get asked all the time. And my immediate answer is no. You shouldn't switch boxing stances. You should use your time in the gym to keep trying to perfect your traditional boxing stance. Why do you wanna try and perfect the other boxing stance when you haven't even perfected your traditional boxing stance? But on this video, I'm gonna give you two different scenarios when you should practice and learn how to switch your boxing stance. My name's Tony Jeffries, Olympic bronze medalist, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European champion, and today I'm joined by boxing strength expert, Stephen Keane. Big thank you to Adia who left me this video request in the comments below. Guys, if you've got any videos that you would like me to make, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be reading them all and trying to make as many videos as I can. So when should you switch your boxing stance? Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you probably haven't even perfected your traditional stance. So why should you switch? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly why and when you should do it. If I'm in with an opponent who's got fast feet and comes forward and throws lots of punches, I'm gonna switch stance to move out of the way. And it looks like this. There, I've just switched boxing stance for a split second. And what I did as he come forward, I went from orthodox to southpaw, back to orthodox. Now I'm not in the southpaw stance trying to box here. I'm using this method to move because I can move really far, really fast. And I've just probably covered eight feet of distance in two steps really fast. And that is one scenario when you can use the switch stance where you will have success with it. But like I said, you're not going to be standing there trying to fight in that stance. It just gets you out the way really fast rather than trying to shuffle like this. That big step, big step, boom, you're gone, you're out of the way, you've moved fast. And the second scenario when you might want to change your boxing stance is when I'm with my opponent here and we're both thinking, if I've switched stance, now I'm here, now I've really got him thinking, he's all confused. Now when I'm in this position, this is an uncomfortable position for me to be in. I'm standing southpaw. But all I'm doing this for is to get into my opponent's head. He's now got to switch his game plan up because now he's in with the southpaw. And when someone switches southpaw and you're in the ring with them, you immediately know that they've done it. And it really makes you think about the game plan that you're trying to implement, that you, you can't do it. You've got to reset and think about everything else. So basically, you're trying to confuse your opponent by getting in the head by switching southpaw. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more boxing education videos like this. Got any video requests? Leave them in the comments below. I'll be doing as many as I can. Thank you for watching.